Good morning. It is Thursday. It is day 24. Oh, it's payday. <laughs> Yay. Uh, of Vlogtober. I got my new one of my new jumpers on. Look, got my got the non-sparkly one on with the rainbow sleeves. Um, yeah, it's very comfy. Very much liking it. Um, yeah, nice to wear something new. Um did I say I've just pulled up at work? I've just pulled up at work. It's about five past eight in the morning. Traffic was really good, which was surprising because it's half term here, but the October half term's weird. So Phoebe gets two weeks off. Um, she's off now and next week, whereas other schools only get one week off and then other schools get two weeks off, but they don't start till next week. So the October half term seems to not be very uniform, even across London boroughs. Uh, so I wasn't sure how the traffic would be, but it was really quiet. So I assume lots of the private, there's a lot of private schools that I go past on my route to work. So I'm assuming a lot of the private schools are off for their half term as well. Um, which works out well for me. Only one road closure this morning. Everyone's getting their road works done at the moment, but um, it didn't didn't put me back too much. God, this is really boring, isn't it? The traffic. I think I took the A209 via... <laughs> oh, duck. Oh, four ducks flying over. It's beautiful, as usual here today. Blue hazy sky, golden red leaves, squirrels running around burying their nuts. It's just pure loveliness, pure autumn loveliness. And I need a cup of tea and something to eat. I did not have a healthy breakfast this morning. I just grabbed an all butter scone because I really fancied it and now I regret it because that is neither filling nor healthy and not a good way to start the day. But I do have some dates and a banana. So I'll have that when I get in. Oh, I've also got my water. I'll put that in as well. Right, let's go and start the day. My only working day this week. Oh, and I wanted to mention something as well. I might as well mention it now at the beginning of the vlog or I'll just forget later. Uh, there is a list of books. A lovely viewer of this channel called Jessica. Last year, at the end of last year in November, um, very kindly went through the comments. I think I'd asked for your favourite reads of the year uh, at some point, probably in Vlogtober, and had said, what is your favourite year favorite year favorite uh read of the year so far and she very kindly went through all of the comments and wrote them all down and put them into a shared spreadsheet which i will put a link to in this video description underneath if i haven't done it feel free to just give me a nudge in the comments sometimes when i'm editing i get it edited i get it uploaded and then i forget that i've got to go in and put put the links i think i've been quite good this vlogtober but just in case just give me a little kick in the shins um yes i'll put a link to it there because it's absolutely brilliant uh, it's just a list of every book that everyone had sort of said was their read of the year so far and it's a really useful thing to refer to a you could just tick off ones you've already read or b you can get inspiration for your next read or listen so um i will put a link to that as i have said in the description box underneath and we're probably going to try and add to that again towards the end of the year as well so i just want to say a huge thank you to jessica for doing that it's really nice of her to offer and thank you to all of you for your recommendations
a long time on the vlogs and that's talk to you as I am driving. I've got the GoPro set up. The reason I don't really do it anymore is because um, I feel a bit of a wally <laughs> doing it. Because I drive in South London, I'm just stop, start, stop, start at lights and junctions. I'm just about to stop now. And I just feel like such a wally talking to myself in the car. I'm on my way home. It's just after half past four. I would normally have a little chat to you before I drive off, but I am in a hurry, a safe hurry, driving carefully, uh, because um, on a Thursday, it is football training night. Dan runs the training sessions, or helps with the training session for the younger team, which he will be on his way to um, in the next half hour, and then, runs the training session for Phoebe's team which starts at half past six. I usually take, it's okay, we don't need to use our indicators at a roundabout. Road rage. I usually take Phoebe and two of her friends to that training session. So on a Thursday if I'm at work, which often I am at the moment, I have to get home, get them, go and pick one of them up, get them to training. We've got an extra one in the car today, so I need to double check that I do have three seat belts in the back of my new car, because I've got no idea. And then get back and cook dinner. However, because it's Vlogtober, sorry, um, this is so boring. Basically what I'm saying is I've got to take people to football. I've also got to edit and upload a vlog because I've been at work all day, so I haven't been able to edit. So it's gonna be a bit of a full on evening and it's been a full on day. <sighs> We're having soup for dinner, very easy. Anyway, this is distracting and I'm coming up to another set of lights, so it's the perfect time to turn the camera off and turn my audio book on. And I'll see you later when I can next pick up the camera. Well, it's about 20 to eight. I have been running around the traffic, getting the girls to football it was atrocious. It was atrocious getting back. I just finished editing, it's just exporting now. So I've still got to do a thumbnail and upload it and do all of that. But somebody kept me company throughout all of that, didn't you? Well, when I say kept me company, she tried to sit on my iPad the entire time and then wouldn't let me use my pencil for editing because she much prefers it for cheek scritches. <laughs> Thank goodness for cats, even when you don't actually have one. So I'm now going to go and put my pyjamas on. I've earned it. Thank goodness we're only having soup and rolls tonight because I am not up for cooking anything or, or even eating anything other than that. Oh, she's going soppy. She's gone into snail mode. Oh, sorry, that's my camera cord. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. I'm going to go and get dressed. Dressed, changed, pyjama up. Hello, that was a very nice dinner. Soup and a crusty roll, very good. Made even better by this. Because this week, Thursday is Friday. Dad and I are both off tomorrow. And we've both had very long days. It is now quarter to nine. I could really do with running the hoover around, but I'm not going to do it this time of night. I thought we'd do a few questions and comments, um, seeing as I haven't uh, filmed that much else today. Um, I've, I've been so clumsy in the last half hour, I've dropped everything, spilled everything. So who knows what's going to happen when I try to speak. Janice McCulloch. Oh, hello, Janice. I always see your name come up. Why buy jumpers? <laughs> Why buy jumpers when you could knit or crochet some beautiful ones? That was on uh, day 21, I think. Day 21, I was showing my new jumpers, one of which I wore today. Um, well, because it takes me like five minutes to order two jumpers, but it takes me about two years to crochet or knit them. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a Christmas jumper I've been knitting now for 
two years, I've got a crochet, uh, I've got a, a knitted cardigan that it's taken me the best part of three months to not even finish. And yeah, I'm a slow maker. I would love, maybe one day I'll have the time to sit and do it. I'd love to have more handmade things. This all heart creations. This is on yesterday's one, day 20. Actually, I must say, before I answer this one, um, on day 22, which was called Noise, Anxiety, Casting Spells and Chickens. <laughs> Thank you for your lovely comments about um, noise and dealing with anxiety. I haven't, I, there was a few with really, really, really good advice, which I haven't properly absorbed and responded to yet, but I've seen them and I just wanted to say thank you so much. And also for all the sharing of your experiences and just Dan flushing the toilet upstairs. What a nice background sound for you. Um, yeah, just thank you for, for all of, all of your sharing. It's nice, isn't it? When you just have a load of people going, oh, me too. Yeah, it's just, it's nice. Thistle Heart Creations. Lovely Lilia enjoying uni. What else could be better? I know it's such a, it's so good to know she's enjoying it. A bread tip for Lilia is to freeze one half of a sliced bread loaf and keep the other half in the fridge. It works well. Also buy some clips to close the end of the bread really tightly. Oh, I've got a load of those that I bought for my Kia. I could give her some. Oh no, we already sent her off with some. I'll tell her to use them. Um, I have to agree with her about the pumpkin spice cafe. I had high hopes for it as a cozy read, but no, it's very spicy though. Yes, it was very spicy. So, oh, it's Karen. It's Karen, Weedy Flower Creations. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Karen is a cross stitch designer, a very good one. She has done, I will link it underneath. She has, well, I'll link all of her shop stuff underneath. Um, She's done a, a cross stitch pattern, especially for the Strictly Sock Along and the proceeds from the sale of that are donated to Crohn's and Colitis UK, uh, which was my chosen charity for the Strictly Sock Along last year and this year. And incidentally, anything, I can't remember what I said now, I think it's 20% of all sales that I make from September till the end of the year will go to Crohn's and Colitis in, for my Etsy shop as well. Oh, thank you, uh, Karen. Now, Thistle Heart Creations, what a lovely name. Uh, me, mem, me, me, I, mem, yay, fee. Have you considered moving somewhere quieter? We moved to a village up north. We're never bothered by noise. The occasional cow, sheep, or horse is as loud as it gets. That would be the dream. And our money went much further, so we can have a much nicer house than we can afford down south. You can have a life unbothered by neighbours. And since we all walk up here, we knew you'd fit right in, yeah, because Lilia's convinced that people in the north only walk places. Yes, we will do that. We will. That's our ultimate plan. Where we are now, though, we love where we live. Yes, they're, well, they're not mine, they're Lilia's, so, yeah. Lilia, Dan's asking if he can have a Mr Kipling. Do you want to say hello to the viewers of my channel? Not the Dan fans, the viewers of my channel. One in the same, aren't they? Hello, everybody. <laughs> It's Friday night, cheers. Yeah. It's, well, it's our Friday night. It's, our, it's Thursday night, not to come. Neither of us are working tomorrow. I already told them, You're repeating me. Anyway, um, yes, we, that's what we want to do, isn't it? We're going to move somewhere quieter. We don't know where yet, though. But no. Phoebe's in school. We love where we live. We love our village. We love the people that we know around here. Um, we, we love how close to the countryside it is, how close to London it is. It's great for both of us for work, because we both, Dan works full time, I work part time. And obviously Phoebe is in uh, school and she walks to school. And that was really important to us, that she was able to walk to school, come home with friends, that kind of thing. So, bye for now. Bye for now, yes. At a time when um, she is no longer in school and she's uh, going into her further education or higher education, then we will make a decision about what to do. But yeah, this isn't our, we won't be here forever and ever. We do have plans to move somewhere else and it will be detached and it will be quiet with only the occasional cow, sheep or horse. <laughs> Cat lives colour. Now I'm wanting to crochet and make cookies. Hmm, is this channel good for me? And then... Dot, dot, dot. Yes, <laughs> yes, crocheting cookies. It lead, leads to a life of happiness. Nadine Augustine. Oh, hello, Nadine. That's another name I recognise a lot. I would love to know who the actual person was that came up with the idea 
of self-striping yarn was someone just sitting and knitting and the idea just popped into their head and then they began to work on just how to make it a reality because self-striping yarn is just an amazing thing. I totally agree. There are so many things that people have invented that I just think, who was the amazing person that came up with this? Hang on. The telly's on now, so I'm going to have to go and shut all the doors. Dan is obsessed with watching the telly. It's something that really annoys me. I would happily not have the telly on at all, but he just, he has to have it on. Anytime it's quiet, on goes the telly. Where was I? Did I answer that last one? I think I was just agreeing. Uh, Sarah B. Oh, Sarah, with your lovely little avatar. Hi everyone, thank you for another great vlog. Thank you for watching, Sarah. I hope you are all okay. Love the walk, Dan. Love seeing Mia. You can see how happy she is when she comes to see you all. Ali, totally random. Have you seen the Christmas Sirdar gingerbread cow? It's a blanket cow. A cow as in C-A-L, for those of you that aren't crocheters or knitters, um, crochet along, where you all make the same thing over the same period of time. It's a blanket cow over six weeks. Alongside the pattern, there's a video tutorial on YouTube every week for each section. I know you love crochet. Oh, that sounds good. I don't think I need any <laughs> other works in progress at the moment, but oh, I bet that would be lovely. I am going to go and look it up, just, just in case, just in case. <laughs> Deborah Moran. Yay, our Lilia is home. Oh, that is so lovely. Uh, how long will she be staying? She's here for a week, so she's going home on Sunday. And then she's, she's back and she'll be back again at Christmas, like in the second week of December. Penny Spearing. Hello, Penny. Lovely busy vlog. And I'm wondering if it's Tully's Farm you're going to for your scary evening as it's very close to where I live. It is Tully's Farm. Yes. It's about 45 minutes drive for us. Um, and I don't know why they picked that particular one. But yes, that is where I am going to be scared out of my wits. Um, for which I have paid for the privilege <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> if you hear screaming from your house, it will be me, Penny. Barbara. Oh, you look so proud running up to meet Lilia. Oh, so nice to see her. Nuisance when appliances break down. Was your dishwasher new with your new kitchen? Hopefully it will be covered for repairs. Uh, bringing the tumble dryer down from where? Oh, okay. So, no, the tumble dryer was not new with the kitchen. We'd had it. We've had it for a couple of years. We've... Um, this is about the second or third time we've had problems with it. So I'm gonna get a plumber in to check that it's all been fitted really properly and see what's going on with it. And uh, as for the tumble dryer, I, when I say get it down, it is our washing machine and tumble dryer are in the old, one of the old um, lean-to outhouse things. So we live in a terrace Victorian property and there's a brick, two brick buildings next to each other that come off the back. One of them would have been the outside toilet and one of them would have been the coal store. They're still there. So the one that would have been the coal store has now got our boiler in it. And the one that would have been the toilet um, has got uh, our washing machine and tumble dryer. And it's the washing machine and then a shelf and the tumble dryer's on top. The tumble dryer is no longer working. We think the heating element's gone, but we've actually made a decision not to repair it and not to replace it because we have been getting on so well with using the dehumidifier for drying clothes that we're going to see if we can get through the winter using just that because the dehumidifier costs less than a third per hour to run than the tumble dryer so we're going to see how that goes. If you do that, let me know. I'd be really interested to hear. Um, I've never really liked using the tumble dryer. It's convenient, but every time I press go on it, I just sort of hear, hear the money leaking out of my bank account. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I meant when I said get it down and we were getting it off the, the platform that it sits on. LR50 plus 54, that's another name I recognise. Um, Ali, have you done a new kitchen review? Maybe I missed it. I'd be interested in what you love and what you might do differently. I did do, I did share, like when we finished it, like how it all looked at the end, but I can't remember exactly how much detail I went into. Um, maybe I'll try and incorporate that into to tomorrow's vlog, just talk a little bit about the kitchen, about the things that I really like the things I still want to do and the things that I would do differently. Um, I say that, I'll have to set myself a reminder or I'll forget, but it's a good question. Yeah, there is vlogs going back. 
can't remember when we had it done now. Is it 2023? I think it was, yeah, beginning of last year. Natty Noodles 22, Dan can knit. Did I hear that correctly? No, no, he's useless. I don't need any more reason for anyone to massage Dan's ego. No, he can knit. I've, well, I've been teaching him to knit, so he's been knitting a hat. And then we got to the decreases, and I was like, great, let's sit down together. I'll show you how to do the decreases. And that's never happened. And we keep saying, right, we'll do that, we'll do that. And we've never actually sat down together to do it. So he will do it. I've told him that you keep asking. He needs to finish his hat and then he can move on to socks. But he would he very much wants to be able to knit and to be able to sit and knit things. This is gonna be long, isn't it? I'll just I'll answer a few more. Um Chris Hudson. Oh hello Chris. And um, add me to the list of those shedding a happy tear when you greeted Lilia. Oh, that's so lovely. Um did she bring lots of washing with her? Um, enjoy a week together. No, she didn't because she came on the train, so she couldn't. I'm sure she will at Christmas. But um, they've got a laundrette in their halls of residence that they can use, and she's been really good at using it regularly. And they've got uh, big, big machines, big dryers. She's also got a radiator in her room and a, a thing that she can put on the radiator for drying things as well. But she's got on really well. I might suggest maybe she gets a little dehumidifier. Might be good for her over the winter as well. Um, but no, she, luckily she didn't bring, she's generating a lot of washing while she's here, but she didn't bring a lot home. Hayley Grimston, do you food shop daily for dinner that day or do you do a big shop and that's just topping up? Just curious as I know I would spend a lot more doing it that way. Uh, are you alright there? What are you trying to do? <laughs> are you going for a shower? Can you go please? My nails match my flow. Because I'm hella tweaking. <gasps> <laughs> She's going for the Mr. Kip thing as well. They are toffee whirls. Can I try one? For Lilia's. I will buy Lilia some more. I don't think she likes I don't them. know why it's... I don't really like toffee or caramel or anything, but I'll try it. Well, I'll try a bit. If you don't like it, I'll finish it. It's a bit crumbly. You definitely left crumbs. <laughs> you ate, but you left crumbs. Oh, can I have the last bit, really? Oh, thank you. Right, go and have a shower. Um, yeah, it depends. <gasps> Sometimes we'll get, we'll usually get most of what we need for the week, um, and pick up things throughout the week just as a top up, like things like milk bread, um, or additional vegetables if things change. Uh, a lot of the time, I use what we've got in the freezer. Some days we'll just have we we don't know because. There's so much going on that we don't really know what we're gonna do until later. My favorite way to cook is looking at what we've already got in the cupboard and the fridge and making something out of nothing. I love doing stuff like that. Oh, someone else just asked that same question. Oh, an iMovie question. I like these. I just noticed that you use, this is, sorry, this is Sam Rayner, 88. I just use it, noticed you use iMovie to edit your videos, as do I. Does this mean you have a YouTube channel, Sam Rayner, 88? Let's go and have a look. You do! Oh, she's got Crochet Podcast episode one uploaded three weeks ago. And she's been doing some autumn vlogs. Right, leaving that open. We'll have a little watch of that later, Sam. Um, anyway, how do you add pictures in the corner without it being a Ken Burns full screen picture, if that makes sense? Okay, so I, some depends if you use iMovie for uh, MacBook or iMovie on your phone or your iPad. I tend for vlogs to use my iPad and I what you do is you, t you go to you navigate to the photo oh, this is is this really boring to everyone else you can just skip through this bit I'll, I'll hold my glass up when I'm not holding my glass up I'm no longer talking about how to use iMovie uh, in case you want to skip forward so when you go to add a picture so you go to your photos um, you navigate to where the photo is, tap on the photo, you will see, hang on, I'm gonna to need to see this so I know what I'm talking about. So if anyone just came back then, because I put my glass down, I was just getting my phone, because I needed to check something. <laughs> I am going to be cringing and annoyed with myself when I edit this tomorrow. So when you tap on the photo, there'll be a little plus sign, and next to it, a little, um, three dots. Click on the three dots 
and then select picture in picture. Um, that means it'll add, uh, you'll see it add in above your uh, video track. If you click on that in the top video track, the picture here at the top, you can then choose to zoom in or out or click the click the four arrows like this little cross if you click the four arrows it allows you to reposition it and resize it and you can move it about the screen to where you want it and make it bigger or smaller if that hasn't helped and it's a bit confusing drop me an email little drops of wonderful at gmail.com i will reply um properly there to iMovie okay i think i'm gonna leave it there actually there's one more because it's about the cat Hi Ali, this is We've Been Kylosing Spindleitis. I'm, I'm very sorry if I've said that wrong. Hi Ali, I'm pretty new to your channel and I have to ask about the cat. You say you don't own a cat, but there was a cat in most of your videos. <laughs> Please tell me the story, I'm just so curious. Loving your videos and I'm in the US. Thanks so much and Dan, you are hilarious. I love the little gestures you do behind Ali. Thank you for making me laugh. Oh, that's so lovely. You're very welcome. Thank you for watching and sticking around. No, I don't own a cat. Mia is next door's cat. They know she comes here. Um, just after the pandemic, they got a beautiful cockapoo uh, who is the cutest little thing. But Mia, the cat, is just the got such a gentle personality she would never stand up to the dog she would never give the dog a little swipe on the nose or anything so she just gets no peace basically and she's old she's about 14 or 15 years old maybe older all she wants to do is have peace and quiet and sleep and get some attention so she just comes here and then at the end of the night she goes out goes home they've got a cat flap and they leave a window open for her she has something to eat and then in the morning she comes back and we start again <laughs> and we love her we tried for a long time to discourage it and then we just fell in love with her and cats are very persistent so she got her own way in the end so that that is why um she's very well looked after she's very well loved by us and she's very well loved by her her real owners <laughs> and yeah Yes, yeah, she's, she's lovely. We're very glad she came into our lives. Just two more, two more, two more. Um, zigzag lines, I always get asked about zigzag, zigzag lines on the um, roads when I'm driving around. You can see the zigzag lines. Uh, they mean different things. So the white ones that you see are normally around uh, pedestrian crossings. Uh, it's a warning not to park uh, or stop on those, um, well, yeah, stop, yeah, you can stop if you're waiting at lights, but you can't park on those crisscross lines, or on the zigzag lines, because it might obscure the view of an area where pedestrians might be crossing or walking into the road, and it's very dangerous, that's what that means. If they're yellow, that is the same, but they're usually outside places such as schools, hospitals, ambulance bays, fire, uh, stations that kind of thing so places where it's absolutely imperative that those areas are kept completely clear so that you don't um, obscure uh, the eye line of pedestrians and important vehicles that's what it means um, if you do park on them I think it's points you get points on your driving license and uh, fine I believe I've never done it so I don't know <laughs> and also loads and loads and loads of you mentioned in my book vlog that I did on day 19, a Discovery of Witches, I can't remember the author, a Discovery of Witches is um, I think the first in a series of books and have I read it and I haven't but thank you for mentioning it, it's now on my wish list so right I'm going to stop talking, honestly me editing tomorrow is going to despair, despair, I'm going to shut up, I'm going to go and pick up some knitting or crochet or cross stitch or drawing i'm going to pour another one of these and i'm going to put my feet up and watch portrait artists of the year with dan i will see you tomorrow on friday even though i'm going to think it's saturday